Thank you. Yeah, but that doesn't give you a reason to talk to me like that, Zach. It doesn't. It doesn't, Fatima. But you said some shit to me, too, though. Zach, I've never talked to you like that. You haven't. You haven't. Okay? I'm definitely not the one hugging her in the same salon I f***ed her in. You need, to, you need to calm down. You don't tell me what the f*** I need to do. You need to listen. Okay, instead of a clip, I just wanted to start this video off with a disclaimer. You know, it felt good, and I mean really good, during my episode review last week to just go smooth the fuck off, because <laughs> I needed that. But, you know, in exchange, I decided to take a few days off. I mean, truth be told, last night I uploaded around 16 videos. All of those videos I did days ago. But I felt like, okay, let me cool off a bit. Because I wanted to do this video in particular once I've cooled down. This was the video I was going to do right after my review. Instead of, I'm over Fatima. Like the ranting, the cussing, that was all supposed to be in this video. But since I've calmed down <laughs> and I've rewatched, uh, you know, certain scenes of last week's episode and then going back to episode um 18 17 basically ever since angela showed fatima the photo heck even going so far back as um the earlier episodes of season five during key zach and fatima moments when fatima would just be completely irrational and angry for no reason i wanted to create somewhat of a montage which i will probably upload as a short at some point but, you know, copyright, so I decided to do an opening here. Then I'll play the uh, montage and come back and talk about it. But, you know, Fatima's hypocrisy, unapolog unapologetic attitude, basically becoming more and more of a sister, despite not being part of the sister circle. Uh, somebody in one of the videos said, hey, you know what, Fatima just tripping. I mean, you know, we could talk all we want about Angela in the photo, but it feels like Andy's been rubbing off on Fatima as time has went on. And I'm like... Yeah, that's actually very observant and accurate. I think that Fatima, you know, it's hard to really put into words. What can I say that I haven't already said in my previous video and social media post? It's the fact that Fatima can do no wrong. Even when she's called out about it, she, you know, deflects. She runs away. And just like she is Karen at this point. She will run her mouth. She will go off on someone. What the other person thinks, feels, or has to say is irrelevant. Once she has said what she has said, she's gone. She's going to walk out of the door. She's going to kick you out. She's going to do whatever. But she's going to make her feelings known. I've been hurt. You did this. You did that. Even when she has done worse then, well, Zach, let's just say Zach, because I mean, we're really not talking about any other uh, person here that has quote unquote hurt these women. But yeah, even when Zach has been on the receiving end of, you know, just the worst kind of words you can use to a person to hurt them. It doesn't matter because you hurt me. So I want to play this montage. And if it doesn't play when I actually upload it to YouTube, then just know they probably took it out copyright. But here we go. And it's just a, and I also, aside from clips of sisters, I put in my little funny SpongeBob or Will Smith or, you know, little quote, oh, it's rewind time. Huh, excuse, I beg your pardon. You know, I just put in things like that to hopefully divert any kind of copyright censor. So let's watch this montage and we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, folks. So you saw it. I think for me, one of the worst parts here was when Fatima, Fat I don't know what's worse, Fatima acting like she did nothing wrong and that Zach has to say I'm sorry and apologize over and over again and admit to it. Or the part where she completely disregards Zach's feelings. The part that really stuck out to me is when she said, we, you have no reason to be mad. Zach has no reason to be mad. Zach has no reason to be mad. And look, look it, it sounds like I'm beginning to rant, but like, oh, he, Jeremy about to go off. No, 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 no. You were shown a photo that set you off. 
Then you took that out on Zach, which led to him going to the salon, then to the restaurant, getting into, well, starting that entire fight, getting back to the house, and not even trying to um talk to your man to understand his feelings. You just chastised him and patronized him for starting the fight in the first place. And when he just decided, you know what, I'm going to bed, you're the one who said on the couch. Then you blow up at each other, mainly you, and then you are sh- are told by his ex, I was the one that hugged and kissed him. And instead of saying, I'm sorry, again, I'm the one who's pissed. Her feelings over anything else. It doesn't matter how Zach felt. It doesn't matter that you were proven wrong in why you got on him in the first place. You believed your friend. You believed this questionable photo. Hell, you even believed that Karen wouldn't play these kind of games. Yet, when you're confronted with her, uh, when you're confronting her at the penthouse, well, I don't know you well enough that you wouldn't play these games. What? And then she said, like I said, I, I, I hugged and kissed the father of my child. I'm going to go home to talk to Zach. Yet, you just go in, I'm going to get some clothes and I'm going to leave. Let's not even get to the next morning about the whole deed thing. In order to make it feel like, in order to make Fatima feel like she belongs there and that I want you there. And then, after all that groveling and having to reduce himself to just, simp isn't even a, even the right word to describe. Well, yeah, well I know you fucked up, but I want you to say what you did, that way we can make sure it doesn't happen again. The fucking audacity. I'm not going off. And I'm not going to call her the B word, but the fucking audacity of this woman. Who is this? I did a separate video. Zach is better off single because this is just way too much. This is just way too much. The fact that you will give all the, the, you will believe everybody, but your friend, your partner, your roommate, your fiance, Zach is all those things. But you will not give him the benefit of the doubt. You will believe anything and anyone that says contrary to Zach being faithful. All because of the whole Ian shit. If you go, I mean, it, it's just astonishing what Tyler has done to these characters. And I feel for Crystal and Deval when they do these scenes because I'm just like, they're doing a hell of a job. It's not the acting. It's just the way the characters are written. That Zach's whole thing this season. You know, I just want to make sure you're comfortable and whatnot. But at what expense, Zach? It just feels like you're losing more and more of yourself. You're just giving... It's like that... Um, I know this was kind of like a viral TikTok that BuzzFeed covered and whatnot about this... Uh, you know, teacher who went back to critique a book from his childhood called The Rainbow Fish of how, you know, the fish gave away his scales to everybody so they would accept him and he would belong because at first, like, oh, he's selfish. He won't give people his scales. Nobody would hang out with him. So he decided to give his scales to everybody. So he was like left with either one scale or none. But after he gave himself away, did the other people accept and want to hang out with him? It feels like Fatima's doing the same thing where Zach has to give up more and more of his manhood, of his pride, of just his self-worth in order for her to stay and be with him. And another thing, when he rightfully called her out for, well, hey, you, 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 you say some crazy things to me too. Zach, I've never talked to you like that. And then this fool goes, no, you're right. No, you know, you haven't. And then right after that, what happens? Look, well, you didn't listen to me. We were moving too fast. I didn't want to move in. You're you're making yourself the victim. And you're making Zach out to be the bad guy. When you're the one who started going off on him, cussing at him, uh, shoving him in the face, 
saying F you, just, I, you need to listen, but you don't listen, Fatima. I said this a couple weeks ago. You don't listen to understand. You listen to respond. Or you listen in order to take a break because you have to take a breath so you can stop ranting. Zach says something so you can go off on him again. The communication is off. The fact that Zach has to beg to, for you to even, you know, have a conversation with him. And even then you're not attentive. You're condescending. You make him feel down. Zach needs to realize Fatima is caring at this point. Unless she's the one in control, this relationship isn't going to happen. It isn't going to stay a relationship. It's just like, it's the same thing as if him and Karen got back together. She would be running the show. He couldn't spend a dollar without her consent. And if he did, she would go all the way off. I mean, the more Fatima lashes out like this, the more she's proving Karen right. Good luck in the struggle. I wish you well. She's right. Fatima is becoming more like Karen. The struggle is real. But here's the thing, though. Unlike when Karen and Zach were together and it was because of his cheating and whatnot and, you know, just living off her money. The difference is Fatima is creating her own problems because of her own insecurity. It's almost as if Karen sees something in Fatima that Fatima doesn't. You know, it's like, oh, I could tell she has some problems and whatnot. And with Zach's, you know, past behavior, oh, that's going to be triggering. I'm not saying Karen knows Fatima's past, but I'm just saying like she must see something in her to be like, oh, I know Zach's pattern. So it's going to set you off. I was just like you, Fatima. I was strong. I was loving. I was kind. But Zach's, you know, behavior patterns, they turn me into what I am today. And you're going to end up just like me. She's right. She's right. I just... The hypocrisy, the self-righteousness, the fact that she can do no wrong, never apologizes even when she's clearly in the wrong. Fatima is ridiculous. There's only three episodes left, and it looks like it's going to get worse as the episodes go on. Like I said last week, I don't care about this guy claiming to be the baby's father of Fatima. I don't care. That's just a shock value point. I don't care if Fatima has a kid. That has, n based on the way she's been acting this season, even if uh, Zach decides to, like, confront her about this, she'll somehow warp it around where she's the victim and that it's nothing. Well, what about all your baby mama, Zach? Huh? Huh? But it wasn't a surprise to an extent, you know, like, to the, uh, the way that Fatima has allegedly kept this hidden the whole time. I don't know. I just feel like she's going to flip it around and make it about her where, you know, oh, how dare you come at me with that kind of attitude after all the shit you've put me through and this and that. I don't know. I don't know who this character is anymore. And I'm actually interested to watch the team of season two to see if the Fatima there matches up personality wise with the uh, Fatima we've seen in sister season five, because I don't know what's going on. I really don't. This this character we're seeing now, like I said before, Zach and Fatima are better off leaving sisters because season five has really focused way too much in the Karen drama, and that's bled into their relationship. Like I said, the main thing, Karen doesn't have Karen doesn't have that kind of power to come in here and you know ruin our relationship. Fatima, that's a lie. That is a bold faced lie. It is. You can say Karen doesn't have the power, yet her influence has definitely, you know, been... Her influence, her behavior patterns, they've been very clear to fans like, Wow, Fatima, you're acting a lot like Karen right now. You are the thing you claim you'll never be. That's, that's all I got. Like I said, I got my ranting out last week. I'm just disappointed and rather underwhelmed i mean i'm not surprised tyler ruined one of his greatest characters of all time he's done it before and it's look i'm not so you know naive to think oh tyler will 
you know, keep together this couple that fans love so much. I mean, there are there were fan favorite couples that, you know, Tyler didn't put together like Charles and Candace, who I personally wasn't a real fan of, but I know they had a hell of a lot of supporters, you know, in the fan base. And look how he um, ended their connection, killing Candace off. But I just really feel like at the end of the day, Tyler ruined the character of Fatima. Honestly, I don't care about the whole, oh, he ruined Zatima. He ruined Fatima. The character who I've said before was kind of like the Steve Urkel on Family Matters. Like, until she got a bigger role and then eventually got together with Zach, the show was kind of eh. It wasn't until Zatima became a factor that people really gave a damn about the show. Season one, it was the Andy show. Season two, fans began to see that, okay, we're just going in a repetitive circle. Like, why is Andy still um, interacting with Gary? Why isn't Sabrina, you know, even entertaining the idea of Calvin? Danny and Preston were a good thing, but then that slowly began to deteriorate. And then Karen, well, she... You know, jealous. See, honestly, season two, Karen, I don't think she was that awful. I think season two, Karen, oh, wait, wait, wait. Then the credit card thing happened. Well, basically, when she was with Aaron, she was good. But then the whole credit card thing happened. Then finding out about Zach and Fatima. And then, yeah. So, yeah, that was weird. But overall, I'd say season two was probably her best season. Minus the parts I just said. But, yeah, it just feels like Tyler did all this for the sake of drama. But it doesn't really work. It's kind of like if you're watching an episode of Blue's Clues. I know this is random, but you're used to Blue being a happy-go-lucky, you know, dog that helped out her owner with some, you know, clues, some mysteries. And you're you're used to seeing this cutesy blue dog. But then imagine the next week you watch an episode, Blue has rabies and is killing everybody on the show. Wouldn't that seem off-putting? Yeah, just like, as you know, you're watching Barney the Dinosaur. One day, oh, I'm looking in the Barney bag. Hey, c come on, kids, let's make some crafts. Then the next day, he's, you know, terrorizing the city like Godzilla. Wouldn't that be off-putting? Well, yeah. What if you're watching Bugs Bunny? Well, nah, Bugs does some crazy stuff, but what if you're watching, um, um, dang, Trying to think of some like, you know, live action shows that actually have some very, very good examples here, but my mind's drawing a blank. But my point is, when you see a character acting a certain way for a long enough time, anytime they act out of character, it stands out because you're not used to them acting a certain way. Fatima used to be calm, cool, collected, calculating, and based on a lot of comments in the recent videos I posted about Fatima, she was really a role model for a lot of females who watched the show. Not to mention for males, you know, the kind of woman that they would like to have for themselves. Someone who's confident. She got her own, but she can be loving. She's strong. This insecure, unapologetic, toxic female. It's really rubbed people in the wrong way. Eat on Twitter. Some of the same people who I've seen, you know, go against my opinions of, Fatima early on in season five, like when she went off at the gym and whatnot, even they're like, yo, Fatima, my girl, she my ride or die. But yeah, she wrong. Like, well, why aren't you apologizing? He's actually apologize. That should tell you right there. I wish that I could talk to like Crystal and Naval just to kind of get their insight. Like, Look, could you explain why Fatima was acting this way in season five? And I don't want to go into spoiler territory, but how did you feel when you got the scripts? I mean, when you're fighting all the time, maybe I'll tweet them because I'm just really trying to understand how Zach and Fatima got to this, especially Fatima. Well, that's all I got for the video. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.